Hello, everyone. My name is Stephen Max Patterson. I'm the lead organizer for MedVR, an international nonprofit initiative to educate people in healthcare and technology to innovate with AR and VR in, in healthcare. MedVR is a uh, it's a moonshot. It is not a hackathon, but an ambitious educational initiative at scale. The MedVR hackathon is a practicum for the measurement of our educational and innovative impact, but it's only a very, very small part. MedVR will create new innovation in education science. We'll educate teams of interdisciplinary health healthcare innovate, innovators and that will precipitate 100 original and relevant AR and VR prototypes each year. And we'll convene and grow a unique and diverse community that will bring both technical and healthcare professionals together. I won't go into too much detail here but we have a wonderful mission to improve health with te technology innovation. We will, as we've proved at, at the MIT Media Lab, that we have the ability to exceed diversity and inclusion norms. And the end goal of MedVR is to increase the AR and VR innovation talent pool through education and the exercise of building original prototypes. And we'll precipitate 100 high quality healthcare AR and VR prototypes per year. And we'd also like to become an exchange point between innovators and regulators such as the FDA. The problem that we're addressing is, is one that's well, well known but under a under uh, receives not enough attention. Uh, innovative use of new technology lags its introduction. And there's, there's a couple of good reasons for that. Firstly, at the beginning of a new technology cycle or uh, a, a new technology uh, rebirth of XR, academic research is very, very quick to pick up new, new technology in their labs but very, very slow to add it, add it to their curriculum, uh, leaving a void in the talent pool of newly graduated students uh, who have the skill to apply the technology. The new technology companies that produce these products see their role as a compo component supplier as compared to a solution supplier, which really limits the talent pool of AR and VR innovators and leaves it up to the institutions and enterprises to, to determine how to apply the technology in their field, and in this case, case health, healthcare. We've taken on the task of, of educating the community in the application of AR and VR, and will overcome this disparity in the talent, talent pool in this way. This has spun out of the MIT Media Lab, where I ran the world's largest AR and VR hackathon, reality virtually, uh, each year. Uh, and we, we were an, a significant innovation and education at, at, at scale event. We selected 460 participants from over 2,000 2, applications. These formed over five days, uh, over 100 teams, and supplied over 100 project submissions. We exceeded social diversity norms for technology by, by a, um, a, a great deal. Uh, we were 40% women. Uh, we had a significant number of non-binary people, as well as uh, representatives of 36 races and countries of origin. Uh, that, that attended. We also, because this was by application, had good control over the functional diversity. So we had, uh, we, we had a good balance of 
designers, developers, engineers, sound engineers, um, uh, graphics artists, storytellers, and all the specialized talent that you need to successfully build a, 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 an AR or VR prototype um, in, in, on these themes. Over the years, though, the project's project relevancy started to drift. And we started to shift our focus and, and look for a theme that would allow us to improve the, the relevance, uh, how applicable the prototypes were to, to be used uh, after they, they, they were completed. It's the way we measured relevance. We looked at, at um, uh, entertainment, um, visited LA many times, uh, uh, working with uh, the universities there as well as the um, the studios, uh, and we also looked at at gaming as the next potential potential. But these two fields were very dependent upon an exponential uh, growth in headsets. And while they will be very very large businesses at some point in the future, uh, they're they're not ready for immediate investment. Uh, Two colleagues from Boston Children's Hospital uh, invited me to attend the virtual medicine conference at Cedar sinai Hospital in, in, in Los Angeles, uh, one of the best conferences in, in the field of healthcare and XR. Uh, it's led by Dr. Burkhead and Dr. Spiegel uh, from, um, uh, from Cedar sinai And there I found uh, very, very high relevancy because of the natural evidence-based discipline of healthcare and the crystal clear problem sets uh, on which the uh, XR applications were, were, were based. After the conference, when we returned uh, to, to Boston, uh, we sent out um, uh, a query to our community worldwide and uh, whether or not they were interested in shifting the, the attention uh, to, to AR and VR in healthcare. And we got a resounding uh, response uh, from all of the, um, uh, the, the, uh, the, the medical schools in, in Boston, as well as many of the leading um, uh, uh, hospitals in, in, in Boston, as well as Cedar sinai uh, and in Heidelberg. Uh, we also won the support of the Virtual Medicine Conference and the Sale Lab at Massachusetts General Hospital. Uh, the Sale Lab being the, uh, uh, the, the, the lab that focuses on AI and spatial computing. Uh, the University of Heidelberg uh, also um, has been a, an, a very, very important partner, uh, as well as uh, the um, uh, the Heidelberg uh, uh, Technology uh, Incubator. Uh, so this was uh, the, the, the response we were looking for uh, uh, and, and sought a university uh, as, uh, as, our, uh, as our major partner and found the Northeastern University College of Arts, Media and Design uh, as our host. So when you start, you should uh, on a project, you should figure out how you're going to measure success. And the success isn't the end uh, of a, the hackathon practicum when uh, we take our community to to build a pro to apply what they've learned and build a prototype. That's when it begins. Uh, we'll measure the number of projects that continue in development uh, that are incubated that receive research funding, that receive commercial funding, and, and how we impact participants' careers. We didn't do, do this with discipline at the MIT Media Lab, but we did it with um, anecdotal um, uh, tracking, you know, just based upon the, the people we had gotten to know. Um, for instance, I can tell you that uh, PTC bought uh, Waypoint Labs at that, uh, uh, that grew from the hackathon. Uh, and the management team of Waypoint Labs leads their AR team. Um, 
that we put five people into Google's uh, development lab, uh, two into Industrial Light and Magic, two into um, Magic Leap. Uh, but uh, we can't tell you the entire Im impact which we want to change. Uh, we will do this with, with regimen and discipline uh, at, over the years with MedVR. Our path to success is to teach AR and VR innovation to healthcare tech professionals and students, uh, to convene the community now um, uh, in biweekly expert webinars about innovation. Uh, you can find them on our website, medvr.io, uh, where the talks are recorded and the upcoming talks are, are listed. Uh, uh, and uh, you can find out when the next talk, talk will be. Um, we will implement an extensive curriculum in 2021 that will be sponsored uh, by employers and, and industry and will be free to the attendees. And we'll hold a practicum in 2021, uh, probably online given COVID, um, uh, to measure the impact we have with, our, our, with innovation and education. This is an example of a typical webinar. Uh, it is a panel on the future of spatial computing. Uh, Irina Cronin is uh, the moderator. Uh, she is the author of uh, The Infinite Retina. Uh, also, Oceanus Vau, uh, a professor of neurology at Tufts University and a practitioner uh, in, um, uh, in, in the Boston area. Uh, Julie Lemoyne, uh, who is finishing her PhD at the University of Dublin uh, and uh, is a uh, accomplished technologist starting her career uh, building uh, the encrypted communication systems for the, for the space shuttle and having 15 years of experience building virtual worlds. Uh, Andrea Kim from the, uh, from, uh, the, uh, the FDA has done uh, very important research in standardizing the application of VR uh, in, in healthcare and has, has authored papers on, on, on the top topic. The curriculum, uh, too complex for a talk of uh, this length, uh, other than to, uh, to give you a short overview. Uh, the curriculum will follow the product cycle, uh, where we'll teach research and ideation, design and innovation, and development and deployment. Uh, it, it is focused to meet the needs of both uh, healthcare uh, professionals and students and technical professionals and, and students. And it is to uh, teach people what they need to know to work together in interdisciplinary team, teams and produce a prototype. Uh, we will measure the, the, uh, the impact of the education based upon how the teams perform. Uh, not how individuals perform, because that's not the way that innovation is, is accomplished. Our goal is, is to measure uh, the, the innovation uh, in AR and VR uh, in, in healthcare, and we'll measure the, the results that the teams pr produce. Uh, this was put together uh, in, uh, by, um, uh, by Vangelis Lemperides, uh, who's on the faculty, of the University of Southern California's um, uh, engineering school, uh, who spent uh, three years as the lead designer at Applied VR. Um, uh, so it's, it's, it's well thought out. So from here, uh, if you'd like to be part of MedVR, we'd like you to join us. Um, you can reach me, Stephen, at medvr.io. Uh, uh, we'd love to have you um, uh, as an active member or an attendee uh, or simply a supporter uh, that wants to connect your um, XR community uh, with ours. Uh, if that is the, one of our most important tasks is to reach out um, and connect and uh, inform uh, the already organized XR communities in the world 
uh, at universities and in public life and at large institutions and at enterprises. So please, we'd love to connect, connect with your, your community. If you'd like to take an active role uh, to sponsor the event, uh, educate or mentor, uh, or if you'd just like to attend the, the educational ser series, uh, please join us. You can vi visit and subscribe at medvr.io, uh, or you can follow us on uh, Twitter or LinkedIn. I look forward to any questions that, that, that you might have. Uh, and I hope um, uh, we have a chance to, um, uh, to talk very soon. Thank you.